Hey everybody, welcome back to my Niagara greenhouse. Today we're going to be talking about a garden hack using heating cable to warm up those cold winter garden beds and see if we can get our cold hardy crops to not just survive winter, but actually thrive in it and keep producing healthy homegrown vegetables for us all year long. We're going to get the wire in the ground, we're going to get the seedlings in the ground, and we'll see how we do. All right. Hey everybody, uh, it was a beautiful day today here in Niagara. It got up to 24 degrees in the greenhouse, even though it's minus seven outside. It was a beautiful sunny day. Enough uh, solar energy got trapped in here to really pump up that temperature. And what that did was it thawed out this garden bed so I was able to till it nice so that we can bury our heating cable. That's this guy right here. We're gonna weave this through the garden bed at about eight inches below the soil so that it can provide so we'll weave this through the soil so that it can provide like in-floor heating, but for a garden bed, so in-soil heating. So this is an idea I saw back in December from Luke Marion over at MI Gardener, so thanks very much for that. We're gonna test it out. I'm using heating cable instead of de-icing cable. I don't know if there's gonna be a difference there in temperature. Uh, there was definitely a difference in price. I've got 60 feet of this stuff for about $60 Canadian off of Amazon. But a bit of a PSA here, do not test it uh, while coiled up on your kitchen counter because when you plug it in, it gets real warm and it melts. I learned that the hard way and I'll, I'll show a picture right here. This here is a thermostat which turns on at about one degree and will turn off the wire at about 18 degrees. So what I'll end up doing is I'll weave it through five or six times back and forth, about eight inches under the soil, and then I'll plant my seedlings on top. I'll try some overseeding over there with maybe some cut and come again stuff. And then I'm gonna put a row cover over this to trap in the heat. I'll make sure that this thermostat is inside the row cover to give us an accurate temperature of uh, inside this little microclimate that we're making inside the greenhouse. I'll also be using my new fun toy that I got yesterday, which gives me a temperature sensor out here in the garden that'll be on my, my weather station console inside. Uh, so we'll keep close eye on the temperature and humidity inside our little experiment here. So let's, uh, let's get bearing. All right, all done. I've weaved it through here four times, about eight inches below the uh, soil surface. I've got my uh, thermostat inside the box and the, the slack end goes out that side as well. I've got enough leftover cable here from that 60 feet to probably do at least another box. I went back and forth in this three by six box four times, so that's 24 feet plus some slack. So yeah, uh, carry the two, divide by pi, I should at least get one more box out of it. Anyway, so that's it for that. The next step is to go inside, get my seedlings and plant them all out here and then do uh, some overseeding on, on that end and then build the row cover to trap the heat. So we'll do that next. Hey everybody, welcome back. It's day two of our garden hack with the heating wire. Today we're going to amend the bed with some compost and then we're gonna go ahead and plant our seedlings in here. Anyway, let's get at her. Uh, we'll start with uh, some good compost. All right, good. We've amended some nice nutrients into the bed to uh, to feed the plants once we get them in here. And uh, now I guess it's time to, to plant our seedlings. I think Gray is going to be joining us for this one, so uh, I'll go grab him and the seedlings and uh, we'll get them in. Hey, you want to say hi to everybody on the camera? Hi. Oh, you have to talk to the camera. Say Hello. Hi. Say hi, everybody. We're going to be planting... Hi everyone, we're going to be planting. On our raised beds today. On our raised beds today. <laughs> Alright. Okay, so we've got 16 romaine seedlings that we're going to be planting out. And a whole bunch of seeds. Oh, that one's dead. Yeah, that one's toast and that one's toast. It was 18, but now it's 16. And we've got a few extra that we're going to put somewhere else. Okay? So, what do you say we plot them out? Look at these blades One, don't even two. cut through the, my mitts. Look at my mitts are so strong that they don't cut through my mitts. All right. Hey, where are we gonna put that guy? Well, let's let's right here. Let's show everybody this super healthy seedling. All right, here we have a pretty ideal 
romaine seedling. Our roots are just starting to get to the edges, not, not root bound at all, which is great. We'll be able to stick that in the ground and it'll grow wonderfully. Speaking of which, I'm also going to cover the seedlings roots with a mycorrhizal fungi to encourage root growth with all of the different beneficial bacteria that's down in this, in the soil. So with a nice healthy seedling, a nice amended bed, some heat and some mycorrhizal fungi, this uh, hopefully will all work out well. see a little bit of seeds coming out. I mean the roots, right? You want to put it in the roots. hole first before we fill up the hole. There we go. Dude, Beautiful. Cool. That was, I never feel the plant like this. <laughs> All right. We sprinkle some Mikey in there. Mikey, your turn, Mom. You, okay. you put it in. All right. And then we. Now what do I do? Then we bury it. Okay. Here you go. Your first try. And here How we did go. I do? Romaine seedlings in the ground. So now it's time to do our seeds. Okay, we're gonna do four rows. One row of butter crunch lettuce, one of baby spinach, one of arugula, and one of radishes. You love all these vegetables, don't you? Okay. You love planting them and watching them grow, not so much eating them. It's day three and now we're going to put the hoops on and the row cover on to trap some of this heat. What we're using is this stuff right here. This is a nine gauge galvanized wire uh, that I got from uh, a local feed store and it was about 20 bucks for 100, 100 feet. Uh, and well, I'm only gonna do about three hoops probably in here and three in the bed over there. So I've got plenty. I'll probably do about 75 to 85 inches per hoop. I get it right in from here to here and get it to about this high. And then we'll wrap the row cover uh, over top. So let's get at it. Here we have it. The row cover is on. Our seedlings are nice and toasty in there. So we'll see how those four things come up from seed. We'll see how the romaines do uh, starting from seedling. And we'll see if these cold hardy vegetables can not only survive the winter, but thrive into full heads of romaine and, uh, and cut and come again greens. So if you like what you saw, give us a thumbs up down below. And if you have any questions or comments, please put them down in the comment section down below. I'll be happy to answer anything as soon as I can. Thanks a lot for watching. This is Ryan from My Niagara Garden. All right, are you ready to say thank you to everybody for watching? Say to the camera. Thank you for everyone for watching. Who's watching? <laughs> I don't know.